Toji, let's break up. Huh? Why are you suddenly saying that? I, Toji Shigamori, am right now being dumped by my girlfriend who I've been dating for one year. Why? Because you're pathetic. I said yes to your confession because you're employed at a good company and you have a nice personality. But when I think about getting married and having children, I'd really prefer my partner to have some good looking genes to pass on. And just looking at your body, you have zero muscles and you're even a little chubby, which is kind of a turn off for me. What? And today, I got a confession from a lean and muscular hottie, so I was thinking that maybe I swap you for him. No way! I refuse to break up over something like that! <sighs> this is so annoying. I could have just cheated on you behind your back. I only want to break up because I feel bad for you. Don't you find it hard dating someone who doesn't like you as well? Well, yes, but I don't want to break up. I'll go to the gym and get some muscles, okay? So please wait for a little while. I always hate this part of you that's so needy and desperate. See you around, Toji. You've been dating for a year. To think that she dumped me as readily as that? It's true that I'm not super hot or very muscular, but I don't think that I'm bad. <sighs> I'm gonna go drown my sorrows tonight. After that, I bought some alcohol at a nearby supermarket and returned to my apartment. Uh-huh. What's this? Oh, it's a flyer for the gym in my neighborhood? Get the body that everyone longs for, huh? Hmm, I know it's a coincidence, but the timing of this is so bad it almost feels like the words are just out to get me. Since I've already been dumped, there's no need to take care of my physique now. No, if only so this tragedy doesn't repeat itself in the future, I should go to the gym. And rather than me moping around on my own, starting something new will at least help me get over her faster. So that I wouldn't end up changing my minds, I went to the gym the very next day. It's nice to meet you. I'm Iroha Usa, the one in charge of helping you get started here. It's nice to meet you too. I'm Shigamori. Wow, she's gorgeous. It was written on a flyer that a personal trainer would be assigned to every member, but I never thought I'd be working with a woman. Let's have fun working out together. First of all, do you have any kind of goal for yourself? A uh, goal? I'm not sure what to say when you suddenly spring that question on me. It doesn't have to be something that's very clearly defined. It's just going to be easier for you if you have something to work towards. Things like a desired weight, body fat percentage, or muscular percentage will work. Even if it's something abstract like showing up, people who made fun of you for being fat, that's still a good goal. I see. Then my goal is to become lean and muscular, and have girls call me handsome. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You must think that's weird. Not at all. I think it's a great goal. I'll do my best to support you in this, so let's work hard together. Uh, thank you. Who says really nice? If it's with her, I feel like I'll be able to enjoy working out. I'll be in your care from now on, then. Yep, let's go for it together. From there, my days of intense physical training commenced. Right, let's take a one minute break and then do one more set. <laughs> this is pretty tough. Yes, it is. But the toughest movements are also the most effective, so please do your best to push through it. I get it. Under Usa's supervision, I continued my training. By the time three months had passed, my physique had improved significantly compared to when I first started. Shigamori, compared to three months ago, your body fat has decreased and you put on quite a bit of muscle. It seems so, but my weight hasn't really gone down. It's true that if you just look at the scale, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference. But I don't think you need to worry about it too much. Muscle is heavy after all, and your body fat percentage did go down. You're really starting to tone up your body, and you're getting more and more handsome too. Uh, thanks. Hearing her praise me made me feel really happy for some reason. But I only made it this far thanks to you. That's not true. This is just your hard work coming to fruition. And the fact is, a major reason I worked so hard was so that I could hear Usa praise me. I've been drinking less lately as well in order to prevent extra weight gain. Uh-huh. Who is it at this time? It's already midnight. Yes? Toji, open up. Ugh, it's my sister. What are you doing here so late? I'm here to stay a night, of course. I was out drinking and missed the last train. Seriously, aren't you getting too old for this? Just stop drinking before the last train so you can go home. You talk too much. Spare me the lecture and let me in. <sighs> I guess I have no choice now. I'll unlock the door now. You need to stop doing this to me, sis. Wait, you're not alone? Yeah, I brought a friend with me. Since it's been a while, I thought us three could all have a drink at your place. You've gotta be kidding me. I'm on my exercise regimen now, and I really don't want to be eating so late at night. Come on, it's just for tonight. My friend's here too. It's cold out here, so hurry up and let us in. <sighs> I get it already. Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, hold up, Usa? 
Huh? Shigamori? Hmm? Huh? You know each other? Oh, she's my personal trainer at the gym. This is my first time seeing her in something other than sportswear. Stop staring at Aroha and move so we can go in. I wasn't staring. It's a little messy, but please make yourself at home. Thank you. Sorry for suddenly showing up at your door. Not at all. I know that you're just another victim of my sister's pushiness. <laughs> you're too kind. I don't mind speaking casually at all. Really? Then maybe I'll drop the formality when we're outside of the gym. That's totally fine with me. Great, now let's drink. Sure, I'll go rustle up some snacks. Oh, good idea. This is pretty much all I have. Huh? Just kimchi and tofu? I want meat or fried stuff. Don't complain when you're the one who suddenly showed up without warning. Plus, we'll gain weight if we eat fried food this late. Yeah, I actually prefer healthy snacks like this. And we already had Yakiniko for dinner, Mio. Well, I guess. And so the three of us drank together for an hour. She's completely knocked out. I know, right? Well, she did drink quite a bit. It'll be troublesome if she catches a cold, so I'm gonna move her to the bed. Ooh, a princess carry. You've gotten really strong. Yeah, I've gained a lot of strength in training, so I can handle this much pretty easily. I'm jealous. Huh? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. Really? I'll move her to the bedroom then, so hold on for a bit. Saying that, I carried Mio to my bed. Sorry my bed can only fit one person. You might not be used to it, but can you make do with the sofa for tonight? I'll take the floor. Oh, it's okay. My place isn't that far away, so I can go home to sleep. Ah, I see. The gym where you work at's in this area too, so I guess that makes sense. Yes, exactly. So, do you want to drink a little more? Just the two of us. Sure, if you're up to it. Right, bottoms up. Anyway, I've been wondering about this for a while, but do you have a girlfriend? Um, I did, but we broke up three months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm over it. I see. That's great. Hmm? Isn't that around the time you started at the gym? <laughs> it is. What happened was... After that, I told her about all the reasons my girlfriend dumped me and what made me decide to go to the gym. Your ex sounds so mean. I'd never do something like that. <laughs> but at least she broke it off instead of cheating on me. In a way, I appreciate her honesty. Hmm, when you put it like that... And I only started working out due to her. I see. So isn't it about time to change the goal you set yourself earlier? Uh huh? What I mean is, your original goal was to get over your ex, right? And you got that nice looking figure that you wanted too. Thanks, I guess you're right. Then my new goal will be continuing to work hard and get more confident so that I can get a new girlfriend. Yeah, that's a pretty good goal. But you might get there sooner than you think. Huh? But I don't even have any close female friends right now. Hmm, is that so? Still, maybe you'll have a girlfriend in no time. Huh, what gives you that idea? What indeed, I wonder. Uh huh? Could this be... Is Usa trying to ask me out? Now's my chance. I should be getting back. Thanks for taking care of Mio. Uh, uh, no problem. Damn it, I always just wilt away at times like these. After Ruta left, I ended up drinking another shot right before I went to bed. And the next day... Morning. Aroha went home, right? Yeah, she lives around here too, apparently. It does only take her 10 minutes on foot from here. More importantly, what happened while I was sleeping? Did you confess? Why would I? Don't give me that. I know you're interested in her. Uh, that's not... You always look towards the top left corner when you're lying. Ugh, how extraordinarily observant of you. If you like her, just tell her. It was the perfect chance. I mean, it all happens too fast, and I couldn't just get it out. Plus, I can meet her at the gym anytime, so it's not like I have to rush things. <sighs> if you're this easygoing, someone else will get to her first. Even though she's single now, that girl is popular. Well, of course she is with her beautiful personality and gorgeous face. Uh, that makes sense. And Hiroha's the kind of person that takes her job super seriously. I don't really think you'll be able to find the right atmosphere to talk about this at the gym. Right, she did say that she'd be more casual with me outside the gym. Which probably means that she's totally intending to keep on speaking formally to me when we're there. Uh, I guess it can't be helped. I'll do you a favor and bring her to your place from time to time. Uh, huh? Are you sure? Yep, the only thing it requires is your everlasting gratitude. After that, Mio occasionally brought Usa over to my apartment to hang out. But... Well then, it's time for me to head home. Uh, yeah, sure. Want me to walk you? It's okay. My place isn't far. If you say so. Be careful on your way home. Okay, see you at the gym. Unlike the first time, there were no other instances of Mio conveniently falling asleep and leaving me alone with Usa. A week later... 
Sure enough, it never feels like the right time to bring the topic up at the gym. They're gonna be coming over later, so should I just bite the bullet and confess in front of my sister? No way, it'd be awkward for everyone if I got rejected, and Mio would tease me forever. Oh, they're here. Uh, hi. Hello. Toshi, we bought whiskey. Who's gonna drink something that strong? I don't even drink whiskey either. Me, of course. I've been pretty into highballs lately. Huh? So that's why. So hurry up and make her snacks. All right, I'm going. Just what kind of snacks go with highballs anyway? But I'll just whip something up. After that, the three of us drank together as usual, but... Well, that was fast. Since we're drinking at home, it's easy to add more alcohol than you intend to, after all. Ah, uh, I guess that's true. Huh? Wait, isn't this the perfect chance? Maybe the fact that Mio passed out early is the universe itself giving me a chance to confess. Uh, Usa, there's something I need to tell you. Sure, what is it? Shouldn't you move Mio to the bed first? No, I don't want to wake her up while I'm moving her. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. No matter what, I need to get this out while it's just the two of us, okay? Go ahead. I really like how kind you are, and how hard you're always trying to motivate me. Please go out with me. This is so sudden. I'm kind of shocked. I'm sorry. I didn't want to disturb you while you were doing your job at the gym, and my sister is always third-wheeling while we're drinking like this, so I couldn't really find a good chance. Yeah. I felt the same way. I couldn't find a chance to tell you my feelings either. Uh, huh? You're a hard worker that tries to do his best every time, and you're so earnest in everything you do. I really like you too. If you don't mind, let's date! Uh, okay, let's get along well with each other. I'm sure we will, but what do we say to Mio? Yeah, it's a little embarrassing, huh? But it's not like it's a secret or anything. I'll just tell it to her straight when she wakes up. Even though I fell into a slump when my last girlfriend dumped me, I feel like this relationship started off well. Later, and I mean, exactly 10 seconds later. That's not necessary. I heard everything. Huh? When did you wake up? Such a simpleton. Isn't it obvious that I only pretended to fall asleep? But if that was the case, you should have just pretended until next morning. No thanks. I wouldn't miss such an interesting event for the world. Anyway, it's your fault for taking so long to get together, even though you both have feelings for each other. Uh huh? Wait, Mio, don't tell him that. It shouldn't matter, right? You're already together. The very first time we came over, I told you that we went drinking somewhere else before that, right? Yeah, you did. While we were drinking, she told me all about this super cute new guy at her gym who works so hard and tries his best all the time. And because I already heard from you that you're currently attending the gym where Iroha works, I decided to ask if that guy has the same surname as me. And then Iroha got super surprised. Um, I already knew that you had the same surname as Mio, but I never thought you'd be her little brother. Well, that's a natural response. I know what Iroha is like. She probably never asked for your number while working at the gym, so I offered to just bring her over to your place. I see. So you knew all along? Even when you told me that it was a coincidence? Yeah, sorry. I was too shy to tell you. No, don't apologize. I'm actually happy. Huh? I mean, it's only thanks to that day that we're a couple now. Oh, what a sweet talker. Oh, shut up. Okay, okay, I've seen all I want to see, so I'm gonna go to bed now. You two enjoy your time alone. Neo, one word too many. How can we enjoy anything when you put it like that? Despite the fact that both Usa and I will most likely have to deal with Mio's teasing for the foreseeable future, we'll probably have an enjoyable time from now on.